Now let's say for example that I already um, know the time um, and camera that I want to export video. Okay, so let's say for example I got this camera here and I know I gotta search video right about 1239 today. So again, I can either drag to my left all the way to 1239 in the afternoon, but I will take uh, too much drag into the left here. So I'm gonna go again to the go specific notice now that I do have a bookmark here so let me click on the bookmark and I know something did happen between 1239-34 and 12:40. there it is okay it's a person walking through the door now again I want to go ahead and there's different ways to export the video but again I like using the little playback brackets so I know the video that I want is right in between here so I'm gonna move my brackets and I'm going to encapsulate the video that I want to export. Okay, and again, that's not necessarily the use of the brackets. The brackets will be used to actually playback video, so loop playback. So if I click on play, it's just going to start playing over and over and over. But I like to use my brackets because now if I click on export video, it's only going to give me the time within the brackets, name of the camera day uh, when it happened when the brackets are going to start 1238 or when it happens and is going to have one minute and 21 seconds of video it gives you the name of the camera uh, and the, t uh, the time and the date if I click on export it's going to now export the video okay and we now notice that we got a check mark here and that video has been sent to the vault which is a new location that we use a new tool that we use in 5.3 to save all the export video and all the snapshots that we take if I click on export there is the video that I need if I just double click from here from the uh, from the vault I can start playing back the video okay if I go to uh, 1239 I believe 34 soon should be that person uh, walking in the door. There it is. And I can uh, play, uh, fast forward, uh, look, play back again. Right. But now I can also give this video, right? That's going to stay in my computer, but if I now want to package this video and send it to the police, I can now right click and package the video with the Genetic Video Player. Why? Because this is a G64X file. And G64 proprietary um, format for Genetech and if you want to play this video you do need our uh, video player so again I can now package it with a video player or I can just click on this button here so we'll do the same thing if I click here I can give it a name I'm going to send it to the desktop and maybe uh, another folder which I can then copy to a thumb drive okay let's say if I just gonna send it to the desktop there it is click OK and total size 224 uh, megabytes I'm going to package it and there it is basically package the video let me minimize this and I should have I don't know if it can be seen here but I can now have the video on my desktop let me move it over here so we can see it and it will also include the Genetech video player